Welcome back to another learning video. Today we're going to talk about Tableau chart and chart capability, filters and actions. All of these are really filters and we just want to show how they work at different levels. So let's take a look at this. So let's start by understanding the data that we're looking at and what's happening. We'll go back to our Tableau visualization and take a look at it. We're going to look at three visits, a geo chart, a list, and a dashboard, and we're going to apply some interesting filters. But before that you do this, I would like you to think about, you know, how will the filter respond? Does it make sense? So we want to be very careful when applying these filters, because sometimes they just don't make sense. You just don't want to stick things on there mechanically. You want to give it some thought. So I'll show you where one makes sense and where it works, but it doesn't make as much sense. So let's have a full of fun. So here we go. Stay here in this, I'll pop over to Tableau. Now here in Tableau, we're gonna focus on these. I'm using the, cust the Superstore data. We're gonna focus on a map, which is good. And we all have seen math before, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is bring the elements in and you can create this. I just do country and profit up here and a couple other details to create this map. Then I built a simple list and you could follow the same thing by just dragging, you know, in this case, customer to rows and then dragging these three things which was sales profit um, and sum of profit in here so we did those kind of things we actually did it in line calculation for some of these and then we created a dashboard which basically took these together and a pie chart that you didn't see is actually hidden but it's here and we have a pie chart so we created this dashboard with a navigation go to dashboard one we'll call this dashboard two but let's just focus on the first one so on this map what we want to do this is a map of the world we see it but the map is not really super smart yet so let's think about making a little more depth to your chart so what we'll do is we'll grab the profit from this side here and we're going to drag it up the filter and it won't work <laughs> i love that when that happens make sure that the arrow is there it's there and how do we want to filter it with all these elements so i'm going to filter by the sum and we'll say next it then gives you a range. You can apply a range at least at most special. So you can go through each one of these. In this case, but why don't we keep things simple today? We're just going to say accept it out of the box, which gives you the full range of profitability. So let's go ahead. Get, you're obviously some countries that are losing money, and some are making money. So you can create dynamic views. Say OK. And then click here and say show filter. And you saw you could actually, if you notice, you could apply this filter to multiple places. Apply to worksheets and select it. All worksheets using this data source. So the filter's up here. And you could change it to where it's in the profit zone. And then you could filter out countries that aren't making money. Or you could just filter it for countries that are losing money. Drag down. Or marginal money anyway. And boom, you can see right away that the map becomes a little more interactive. And it's very telling right so rather than just looking at a doll map of the world these filters are really add a lot of value and i like these better over some of the filters you had in other tools like excel and whatnot these are advanced charts but this would make a cell user cry look at this hovering over one of the items or one of the countries gives you a list of the customers in that country this can be very powerful for those of you making sales reports that's not how we did that so what we did was we created this customer profitability list let's just call it the big list Right, and customer profitability, we had customer name, sales, cost of goods sold, profit. We actually calculated to the super short data set, gave us profit, so we actually calculated the cost of goods sold. So we just stuck the customer name in, and then in measure values, we just basically put these three. So we create this big list. Then what we do is we go back to the map, and it's not a little bit simple map, it's an advanced map. We hit tooltip, and then what will happen is the tooltip will pop up, and you've seen this before, and you go insert sheets, and you decide what you want to insert in here. So I've already inserted it, because it's already here, so I inserted the customer profitability sheet that we just created. So what happens is, and you say, okay, every time you hover over a country, it filters out the customers that are associated with that country. You notice the names change, because the US customers have one set, and Mexico con customers have another set. And the data just changes dynamically to what sets of data they are. And if you go to smaller countries, you know, Thailand and those kind of things, they have different sets of data. 
and NBA. You have a lot of information here. See, look at the meaning. You get the chart in the chart. You get the, all the elements that you show in the details. So the, the chart takes on a different dynamic. So it's kind of like filtering, but it's smarter. You have the profitability filter and chart and chart filter. Now, let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add an action. The action is an advanced filter for a dashboard. You gotta be kind of careful with this because if you go actions, if you get confused, and like my first attempt, I actually messed this up. So this one, we're gonna add an action, which is really a filter type of action as opposed to highlight action. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it country filter. So we're gonna filter, we'll call it country filter one. We may have a bunch of these. What we're going to do is filter over something. So when we hover, when we put our mouse over the top of something, what we want to do is we want to have it to filter out. Now, I really want to focus on country. And remember, the bubble chart didn't really have, I'm sorry, the pie didn't have country. So I'm going to take this off. The pie doesn't make sense. It won't really filter on it. Maybe I'll leave it on for now, and then you can see what will happen, what it'll do, and what it won't do. And then what do you really want it to do when you hover? Well, it's going to actually filter over the other charts, but when you come off the hover, do you want to keep filter value or show all values? People expect it to show all values, but we're going to leave it and keep filter values for now. Now, how do we want to affect it? Selected fields or all fields? We want to select it all fields. If you don't, you get selected fields, you got to select them, and if you select them, it won't always work the way you want, so you have to be very picky. Let's keep it simple for this very first moment here, and say OK, say OK, hover over, See, look, when you hover at Mexico, China, Australia, France, it goes back to France. And look, when I left, you see what happened? I got to hit escape. Oh, man, it's like stuck in this country mode. It's not your expected action. It's not what you really wanted to see, right? You can't click around. So let's go back to our dashboard. Go back to actions. Click the action. Edit the action. So we don't want it to keep filter values when you clear a selection. You want to show all values when you clear a selection. Because if you do that, then what will happen is you come back, and you know, I hit skip a couple times. Now when I go to US or China, and I click off of it, it returns to the United States or to the whole map of the world. And then I can go back to things and then show things pretty interactively. So it just kind of depends on how you want to interact with the maps and everything else. So. If you go over to Brazil, you go into Brazil, you click on Brazil. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Thank you. And you can see how the chart clicks it, updates. But also look at this. If you notice when I'm clicking different countries, look what happens. Like I click US, the pie chart updates dynamically too. It shows you the pie for the United States, the pie chart for Australia, the customer list. Well, that was Egypt too. Let's go back down to Australia. The customer list for Australia and the mixes. So it feels real interactive chart. So you had three levels of charting here. We still have the profitability charting for the advanced map. We also have the chart and chart capability. And we have the actions on the dashboard. So you take a simple dashboard and you make it very powerful where people don't have to click around 20 dashboards. That way you also go into different views by phone or device. It makes a lot more sense. I hope this video was helpful.